Hey guys, I'm the Help here. Welcome back to the channel. And Apple surprised us all today releasing iOS 14.4 RC or release candidate. Now, I did not see this one coming. I thought Apple would release iOS 14.3.1 before releasing this software. But I think Apple has changed their mind. There must be something that has changed here for Apple to change the release date for this one because we saw only two betas and usually for a major software update we see several betas before an official release and as i mentioned rc is pretty much the release candidate which means this software could be released here shortly in the next couple of days so i'll go over that towards the end of the video stick around for that now of course in this video we're going to go over everything that's new with the latest software we're going to talk about new features bug fixes that apple has officially fixed with this software and bugs that we're still hoping for apple to fix now, aside from iOS 14.4 RC, Apple today also released the iPadOS 14.4 release candidate as well. For the Apple Watch, watchOS 7.3 RC has been released today as well. So if you do own an Apple Watch, you can head on over to the Watch application. Of course, under software updates, you will see 7.3, the RC for Apple Watch as well. And again, this will all be released here shortly from Apple. So this software also came in today, tvOS 14.4. So a ton of software as a release candidate today, which means Apple could be releasing very, very soon. Now the software overwrite the entire OS. So it's about four and a half gigs updating from beta two to uh, the RC today. As I mentioned, this is quite unusual to see this. So the latest build number here is going to be 18D52. And we'll compare that to the official final release in the next couple of days once Apple releases the new software. Now, one of the new features with this software is within the camera application for iPhone. Now the camera application is capable of reading smaller QR codes. Now they can be recognized using the camera directly on your iPhone. I guess some users were having issues with these smaller QR codes. Now that's a new feature. Apple has stabilized the QR code within the app, and now that's a new feature on 14.4. Now there's also a new option or a new settings under Bluetooth devices. So if we go to Bluetooth here and we find one of the connected devices here, we now have the ability to identify device type. Now the reason for this is because Apple now offers the notifications for headphone safety. So if you have a pair of headphones, you can identify that and you'll get the notifications properly for the headphones on your device. Once you identify the Bluetooth device that's connected, this one, course is an external speaker as you can see there but you can identify third-party headphones that are connected it will automatically recognize if it's airpods but third-party headphones and speakers can be identified now a new feature for the camera as well on 14.4 is that the iphone is now capable of identifying if you have a replacement camera sensor on your iphone it will tell you if it's a genuine working apple part or if it's a third party so if you take it in to replace your camera or your camera module on 14.4, your iPhone is capable of identifying if that part is genuine and it will work perfectly fine with your iPhone. So that's obviously a great thing. Now there's also new features that we don't see within the software. Now we're talking about Find My and the Find My tab, the items tab that was recently leaked online under the Find My application. So Apple could soon be releasing new hardware in the form of air tags and this feature could be enabled on 14.4 if that new products come to light and a new tab for items could be enabled on the find my application as well now i do have a full video on that that was leaked recently i'll link that down below if you want to learn more about the items tab and the items network all together which should be enabled on 14.4 and hopefully we'll be seeing a new apple product named air tag here in the next couple of days. We'll have to wait for all that to see what happens. Now, let's talk about also new fixes within 14.4 as well, or bug fixes. According to Apple's release notes, one of the bug fixes in this one is the HDR. HDR photos taken on iPhone 12 image artifacts could appear in HDR images. So if you take HDR photos with your iPhone 12 and you've had that issue, that has been resolved on the latest OS. Now also this platter here or this widget here for the fitness may not display the actual activity data properly. So the widget for the activity or fitness widget now displays the data properly on the latest 14.4 if you were having that issue. Now another issue that Apple is addressing with this software is that the keyboard would have a delay when typing. So if you were typing on the keyboard and you saw a delay 
or the actual keyboard letter suggestions or word suggestions won't appear for you on the keyboard. That's also been addressed and also some users, the keyboard would just not pop up at all. So if you open an application, went to type, the keyboard would just be transparent. You couldn't see anything at all. So a few bugs within the keyboard were also addressed with this software. And if you had this issue, I would like to hear from you in the comments down below. And another issue that we saw under accessibilities, if we go to the accessibilities tab here and we turn on switch controls, there's an issue where the actual phone would not allow you to answer the call if you were using this accessibility feature that's also been addressed on this software as well. But of course, there's a ton of bugs that we talked about with this software that we were hoping for Apple to fix. Number one is standby time. Standby time on older devices is terrible on 14.3, and we're hoping that Apple has addressed this on 14.4. Now, Apple has made no mention of standby time battery being addressed with this software, but we're all hoping that that's the case. And of course, you can subscribe and stay tuned for my follow-up video because I'll be testing the battery in the next couple of days on older iPhones as well as newer iPhones, and I'll provide some additional details and feedback to you guys in the next couple of days. Now, there's also an issue within the lock screen that I've encountered myself, and that is if we swipe over to reveal the camera, the camera would freeze. I would have to actually unlock my iPhone, quit the camera application, and then proceed to take the picture. Hopefully, that's something that was addressed with this software. Again, Apple has made no mention of that, but hopefully that's been addressed with this software as well. Now, one of the biggest issues is the battery. The battery on iPhone SE, let's say first generation iPhone 7, iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, 7 Plus is horrible on the latest 14.3 and we were hoping for apple to address this on 14.4 so you see this iphone here is dead it's been on standby time this se here is also dead it's been on standby time hopefully apple has addressed the battery on older devices because it is completely completely horrible and if you want to watch my entire video where i break down how quickly the battery would drain on 14.3 links will be in the description for that as well but hopefully apple has fixed that with this software. Again, that'll be on my follow-up a couple days from now. There was also minor issues when swiping over to the app switcher or swiping to unlock from the lock screen of your iPhone. It would actually freeze, especially on newer iPhones like the iPhone 12, 12 Pro, and 12 Pro Max. I've encountered some stutter within the software. Again, I haven't really seen that stutter on the latest beta 2 and on this one either. Now, I've only had it install the RC on this device for about an hour or two and I haven't noticed that issue, so hopefully that's been addressed so far and we'll just have to wait and see. Another issue that users continue to report on is text message notifications simply not being delivered for most users on iOS 14.3 and 14.4 beta 2 alike. So hopefully with this final build, we'll see that finally being addressed. And if you had this issue, I would love to hear from you in those comments down below. Do you see your text message notifications not being delivered to your iPhone? Let me know in those comments. I would definitely like to know everyone that's having that issue so far. And recently, some users continue to report issues within the cell network. Now, I have talked about this on 14.1, 14.2, and now 14.3 as well. But hopefully, hopefully we'll see better 5G connectivity for iPhone 12 on the latest 14.4 because 5G has just been horrible. Everywhere I go, 5G on iPhone 12 just isn't what I thought it would be. The speeds are just not there. And uh, many users continue to report that that seems to be the issue for many users as well. Now that goes for newer iPhones on 5G, but also cell connections on older iPhones as well. So again, all these things that I'm talking about here are things that Apple didn't mention on their release notes, but we're hoping for Apple to address those. And the follow-up video will tell us everything we should know. Of course, you can stay tuned for my actual YouTube community poll where you guys provide feedback on how the software has been working for you. That YouTube community poll usually goes up about two days after the filming of this official first look of the RC. So stay tuned, make sure to subscribe, and make sure to check out the actual community tab here on the channel for that as well. You can participate on those videos, or actually YouTube community polls, I should say, coming here shortly. And one last thing that many users continue to report is a green tint on the display for iPhone 12. So I'm gonna give you an example here. Let's go to display here and let's go to filters. Let's find the filters tab there and let's turn this on. So a greenish tint filter right here is applied on the screen. Some users are seeing this on their iPhones without of course applying a filter on them. So some users report that a green tint on their displays and this is common 
on some OLED display devices, not only on iPhones, but it shouldn't be the case. If you're continuing to have this issue and you update to 14.4, I would like to hear from you as well. I haven't encountered that issue myself, but yeah, 14.4, definitely a major update pushed out rather quickly. It looks like Apple will not be releasing 14.3.1, but rather 14.4 here in the next couple of days. Now, expected release date for this software, we can expect it to everyone worldwide in next week, the week of the 25th. It looks like Apple has definitely pushed the software very, very quickly. And after this, we can expect Apple to release minor updates and so forth to continue to address additional things within iOS. And of course, adding new features, hopefully before iOS 15 beta one hits in the summer at WWDC. And that is everything I wanted to share with you guys. 14.4 RC is now available. Release candidate is now out. The official release will be here shortly, most likely next week. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. Thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.